Birmingham is one of Europe's most diverse cities and we want anybody and everybody who has any, you know, the common values around social justice, around peace, around love and harmony, you know, uh, all uh, anything to do with communities working together, community cohesion, we want them to be there. Well, Birmingham is a city of diverse communities and they've been so living together in peace and harmony for a long, long time. And if the, if the community is living together, tolerating each other, having respect for each other, uh, that is something which should be celebrated. And the faith uh, leaders decided that it's now the right time for us to celebrate the unity that we have uh, so that everybody can share uh, the, the views that we have. Um, as far as I know, they're planning to hold uh, a concert um, and bring together people uh, to really uh, demonstrate the importance of diversity in Birmingham. It's going to be a family fun day out. We don't want it to be a counter demonstration against the EDL. We don't want it, in fact, we don't really, the only involvement that the EDL has in our um, uh, event is that we just want to express to them what Birmingham is actually like, what the communities of Birmingham are actually like. Um, so that's as far as it goes with the EDL. We don't want to, to have words and confrontations with them. We're not fussed about that. It's just a celebration of our communities, of who we are, of our culture, of our background. So we've got people, I mean, just in terms of performers and speakers, we've got people from most communities that are coming so we're hoping and, and the way that we've publicized it, it's going to be a very very diverse event and anybody who is a Birmingham citizen can attend. Tomorrow in the in the Chamberlain Square uh, all faith leaders will get together and will um, um, make a public demonstration of our solidarity, of our unity and of the respect that we have for each other. And there's something which needs to be celebrated, and that's what we'll do tomorrow. I think it's it's crucial to, to where we are in Birmingham. Um, look at uh, the recent history, but also the, the, how Birmingham has grown over the years. Um, newer communities coming in, but the fact that we are a diverse city is something to celebrate. Um, I direct an organisation called Birmingham Citizens, which is a very diverse and multi-faith uh, organisation. And so through our contacts, I got the message that um, we're, we're holding an event at short notice, which is something that thankfully I'm, I'm used to. Um, and it was in response to the EDL, uh, English Defence League, coming to Birmingham announcing that they will be demonstrating in Birmingham city centre. Um, so rather than have a lot of youth go and, and you know, collide with them, we wanted to, an alternative vehicle for them to express that they, they have ownership of Birmingham, that they are, you know, the Birmingham's all about various cultures and various groups of different people, different races working together um, in harmony. So that was that vehicle. We wanted to provide a, a, a celebration or a carnival atmosphere for them to kind of come together and celebrate with, with the whole of Birmingham community. So that's, um, that's what hopefully we will be doing. I, I got an email on Wednesday, so I've only known about it a couple of days, but I was really pleased to see that faith groups are coming together um, to counter what the EDL are doing in Birmingham City Centre or planning to do. Um, I just think it's, it's sad that they can be allowed to, to protest in the way that they do, um, when I think it's really important that we celebrate diversity in our city. We stand against uh, any um and hatred, we stand against uh, any divisive activities because we want to celebrate our unity. All I can say is, uh, and unashamedly, that EDL are all about ignorance. If, if, they, if they were able to come out of their own little pocket and, 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 and the pubs that they go to and actually converse with the Muslim community, because their grievances are with the Muslim community, if they actually converse with people and say, actually, there's, there's a little bit of extremism and there's a little bit of, um, 
you know, a, a negativity amongst any group, any faith, any culture, any background. But, you know, they're not doing this in our name. All these people who are saying, you know, terrorists and extremism, all of that, that's not in our name. That's not what Islam is about. That's not what the majority of the Muslim community is about. But it's clear that the EDL are just looking at the media, the negative portrayal of Islam and Muslims, and they're just basing their whole ideology on that uh, alone. And they, like I said, this event that we're holding, Unity, Loving the Difference, is all about relationships. And the EDL don't have that. They've got their own little ghettoized group and they, they've cordoned off anybody else from there. They're not going out, they're not listening to the community. Uh, um, you know, EDL would call all Muslim extremists, whereas actually most Muslims would call them extremists. Well, the Bible um, teaches that a core part of our faith is to love our neighbour. And so we recognise that it's really important to, to um, love and to respect the people who are around us. And I think that's a really important part of what we should demonstrate through this event. Um, and I think it's something that's clear from what I've heard of that the EDL are saying that they don't represent and uh, want to try and segregate communities and create uh, factions and, and whip up hate really. Um, which I, I just don't think is helpful in, in the city that we live in. Bombing is very much a, a united, in fact, it, a, a tolerant uh, city for decades. Um, and um, that being so, uh, we need to celebrate that. <laughs>